No, espérame, yo estoy viniendo. Yo estoy subiendo, Dina. No, estamos subiendo. Mira, ven conmigo, yo tengo la cámara. Alright, so we're gonna do today's photo shoot, and it's gonna be one that I've been thinking about for a really long time. So I'm, yeah, Lena Bob's a tomorrow photo. So I'm pretty excited about this photo. Hey everybody, I am Joe Tobias and Wendy, a nonprofit photographer based in Seattle, Washington. And that cold open probably doesn't make a lot of sense unless you think about the fact that coronavirus is a thing, and therefore everything's weird, especially when you're a parent. Hence why there's a blanket for it in the background because there was a bunch of smoke and we couldn't go outside. So there's that. Anyway, we're here to talk about photography, not parenting, but today those things are gonna cross because back in March when the quarantine really kicked in, I was super down. Um, I mean, as I think most people were in various respects, um, but as I am a professional wedding photographer, I was really, really down because I was seeing all of my weddings disappearing. I was seeing this job, this business that I've built, um, suddenly become not the thing that I had expected it to be. I suddenly was not going to be spending my summer shooting the weddings that I wanted to continue to build the relationships I'm building with, building with clients and to be telling those stories. And I didn't know what that was gonna look like. And so there definitely was a lot of those like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna shoot a wedding again kind of thoughts. Um, which if you're having those, like I think they're pretty valid and stuff. And there's a lot of other psychology stuff that we can talk about and how to deal with that and all that. But anyway, one thing that hit me halfway, like in the middle of that was like, I just need to do something. I need to do something creative. I need to make something and it will be a lot better. So I decided that I was going to take a, a self-portrait project with Lena, with my daughter, um, who at the time was not quite two. And we took our first one on March 25th, which was the day that this video comes out, was exactly six months ago, which is insane to realize that we've, I've now been taking a photo with her every single day for six months. And when I started, um, I put, pulled out my um, Mia 6 and I was shooting uh, medium format photos and I was doing two or three photos every day. So I was going through a roll every three or four days because I thought, like I think most of us did, all oh, this is gonna last a few weeks, it'll be fine. I don't care if I go through five rolls of film. Again, I have now taken 150 of these things. So with that, uh, I started this project and I told them there was kind of two rules. Number one is that I was gonna take the photo and every day I was gonna be a self-portrait. So I had to click the shutter, no matter how we were gonna do that, whether those be selfies, whether those be with timers, whether they be with remotes, I had to click the shutter. And um, number two, my original rule was that I wasn't gonna develop any of the film until quarantine was over. Well, I thrown that rule out the window because it's, I mean, I, I want to see the photos. That made sense when I thought it was going to be a month or two of those kind of things. But now that it's been so long, like, I feel like there is a point where I need to see the work to make sure that it's going well, that I am actually learning from the creative process. And so I wanted to start to see the photos and to develop them and stuff. And also after, I think it'd been four months when I first started to see them, I was like, I just, I just want to see these photos. I'm just really excited about it. So six months in, um, I definitely relaxed those rules a little bit, and I'm not just shooting on that Mimia anymore um, because that would get um, more expensive with only 12 photos per roll. And so most days I can get through and I can only take one photo, but some days I have to do a backup and stuff like that. So I've also been doing some on medium format, but mixing up um, sometimes on my SLRs here um, or even with point and shoots. And I have to take notes every day um, about what today's photo was. But with that, I've only missed a couple days. I've only missed, I think, seven days in six months. And all those were because I was out of state photographing a wedding. But with it, it's also super fun to now start looking back on these things and to see that in that six months, how much has changed. I mean, I'm a parent, so the first thing I see is how much has she changed. Like, I can see her growing. I can see her hair getting longer. I can see her um, mobility, her actions, all the things that she can do and is different, it's very apparent in those six months. And it's really cool to be able to have this documentation that when you go day by day by day, it doesn't seem like that much, but finally be able to pull back and see a six month span is really cool. But it's also been a really fun creative project for me because within that time, it's not that I'm just going and that I'm just like documenting our life, which I am, but it's also a chance to, to be creative and to try things differently. Like we've had days where we've pulled out all the flashes and done a bunch of weird lighting. We've done colored lighting. We've done, um, we've tried to uh, replicate 
or take our own spin on photos, like this one of William Eggleston's photo of the, of the tricycle. Um, or uh, I've been inspired by people's work online and try to have something like that. But at the same point that I'm also, if I'm doing those are kind of like a little bit more like our take on conceptual stuff or art stuff, but then we're also hard doing the stuff that just documents the life that we're having or the life of being a parent of a toddler during this time, whether that being like wearing tutus or um, cooking together. And so trying to have that balance that, sh that goes in all those directions. It's also really cool to see as we've looked through here, because like we moved during that time. And so I can see photos that when I started this project, we were kind of looking at for houses, but we didn't think we were going to move anytime soon, especially because Corona was becoming a thing. And so to see photos that are before that, to see the photos of us packing up our old house, to see the photos of us, our first days in this new one, our, our last days in the, in, but then also to be able to be within our home and be able to tell the story of what it's been like to be in this, this, this space during this time has been really powerful to me. Um, and it really, the more I did, dove into this project, like the more creative and the more it's meant something to me. And so I'm just really thankful to have started with it. And it's, there's the old adages of, you know, the best time to plant a tree is 10 years ago or today. And as I've kind of given it, I'm now like, it was weird to start. And now six months in, I'm like, I'm so glad I have these six months of this project to look at. And I'm really, um, excited to see where it goes too, because there's a lot more stuff that I want to say about our relationship. There's a lot more angles of my life with Lena that I want to document. There's more of her change, more of her growing, but then there's also like the creative stuff that I want to keep trying and I have a chance every single day to intentionally make a photo is really neat. So with that, I'm now going to pass it off to myself, actually from a few days ago, and we're going to take one of those photos and let's go do that now. So we have all of these, of hundreds of these balls, these like McDonald's plastic balls. And so the thought is we're gonna dump them all coming down the stairs. Lena and I are gonna be sitting right here. So Erica will come and help us with that. But we'll probably have to use like a flash to lock it in. It'll be interesting. But probably first we need to figure out how long it takes for the balls to come down the stairs. So to actually do this photo, um, I'm going to use the Mamiya 6 here, which uh, square format, uh, and then I'm going to have Portrait 400 in it. But this is such a complex photo that I'm going to do a few tests beforehand. So I have my uh, 5D Mark III, and then I'm going to put a wide angle lens on it just so I can see everything. And then I have these uh, flashes. This will be remotely triggered, so it'll be one, that'll be the trigger, and this one will be up above to light the, the balls as they're coming down to lock them in. I might gel it too. We'll see, I just I have all these colored gels. Um, so we'll see what we, how that actually looks. This is kind of why I do these, these complex ones, I do it with a test first um, to see how it looks. Como funciona? So after all those tests, I have the Mamiya here on the tripod and it's ready for the photo. So I have it set to f5.6. Um, it's going to be a quarter of a second exposure and I have the focus set as well. I also have a timer set, which should be 10 seconds. So when Erica goes to dump the balls, we'll have a stopwatch that she can hit so she knows, can then watch when I say shutter. She'll then be able to watch until seven seconds and then pour so the balls should then be in the right place coming down the stairs. If this goes first try, I'm gonna be so surprised. One, two, three, go.
GPS is Lena. After doing it once, I have a few notes on how I think we're going to do it better. We're going to throw the balls a little bit differently, and I'm going to switch and put the Mamiya on the the good tripod. So I'm back, and this is Future Me, and I have no idea how long this project is going to go. I'm going to go until either I stop coming up with ideas, which I think I'm coming up, basically every time I come up with a new idea, or, and basically every time I execute a new idea, I come up with three or four more, so I'm not too worried about that, because the more I do this, just the more my brain come up, comes up with more ideas, and I think that that's completely natural, and it's part of this creative process, is that the more you do it, the more it builds. The only other way, though, it's going to stop is if she tells me she doesn't want to do it anymore. But uh, I'm banking on that. At least if I can at least make it to like teenage years or something, that would feel pretty good. Anyway, I hope this inspires you to go do creative things in your life and to make photos that both push your creativity and document the, um, the life you're actually leading. So have a good one.